welcome to you in studio and you at home. Come along with Kenneth Gomez Gankosi and we are watching the very first live episode of Class X Season 2. And we are really excited to present our 10 finalists to you. And this year's action men and action women in the making. Let's meet them face to face. Give it up for Ephraim. Give it up for Mandisa. Jack Pellets. Please give it up for Rosa. Abdul. Her name is Doomy for Fuchs. Petronello, Malo, Nina, yes, Mantisa. This is your top ten. Give it up. You are about to watch us take out a movie in five scenes performed by our ten contestants. Now, let's take out is when cops watch the crooks from a secret hideout. Of course, we hide a bit of romance to just make it interesting. What happens when romance gets in the way? Malo and Nina, you guys are first up. Dim the lights, go for it. Lieutenant Williams. Come in. Warrant Officer Teacher McKeezy. I've been assigned as your backup. You. You? Don't get cocky with me, Warrant Officer. I'm still your superior. That was exactly what I was thinking last night. You can trust me. Serious. I've got your back. Or your front. Or whatever. Okay, that's it. Out of here. Right now. Like you. This morning. <laughs> I found the whole thing kind of like monotonous, I will say. Well, I was very disappointed. It wasn't great, okay? Now, let's see what happens between Palette and Rosa. Take the lights down and let's see how big he is. You've got the wrong impression of me, Lieutenant. Really? Have I? Damn straight. I don't joke around when nothing death is concerned. But what if we had the kid cry for help? Then we wouldn't have to wait, right? A child's life is on the line here, Lieutenant. This is not the time for technicalities. And you know that. I thought you both did a really good job. Yes, voice is a problem. Balance. The voice, man. She's walking away, and you are sitting there and going, you must go, hey, yeah, yeah, no, come on, okay, okay. You know, release, man. Let's see what's going to happen to Abdul. But do me. Dim out the lights. Give it to us. Shh. What's that? What's what? That's the sound of us working in perfect harmony. Last night was amazing. And you were the opposite of what you are now. Very relaxed. Because both your careers are over. It's important that you bring yourself forward. One, one thing that I, that I lost in the whole scene was the fact that you guys went in with a mission, but now suddenly that mission, you lost that mission when you went inside. Let's go behind the scenes to see what Ifran and Mandisa are up to. Lights, cameras, and action. Come on, TJ, put some effort into it. Uh, it was in the end of the Come on, man, I need your help here. Let's see if we can cut it. My God, you're beautiful. Uh, I can explain. Too late. Well done. You must be careful that you don't always have a grin on your face. I think this is the best uh, uh, screen test for the night. Our last act, at last act, oh folks, no Petronella. Let's see if they were on top of their game. Should I first? Excuse me? A minute ago you were swearing on dying loyalty. Things have changed. Nice. There's some nice things about it. Charm offense was very nice. I'm afraid I didn't believe either of you. Just yeah. don't don't rely on the charm only, ne? But you're beautiful anyway. Okay, oh, join us on Monday, 7 p.m., when the judges will give you one of those guys the Armstead Class Act Award of the Week so that they are not going to be voted out. And someone is going home. You know why? Based on your vote, we are armed. For now, I'm Bilem now. I'm Bilem! Yes! That's it! That's it! Happy Monday! Simbulise Mandele na Mandele Gazi Kambalamgu Kenneth Gumnedi Zohankosi And we are watching It Last Act's first elimination show. Metro FM. They've also had their voting lines with their listeners, and they've decided who's that last act of the week. Let's see. Check it out. Hey, how you guys doing? I am Adil, 
the Metro FM experience amplified by Armstrong Lager host. And I am a huge, huge Class Act fan, as you all know by now. Our Class Act winner of the week is Ephraim. Congratulations. You have to remember, you have to remember that the people that can actually give you immunity are those guys. These guys are the ones that can do it. The judges, not the listeners. So, Mr. Kholinikiwe, talk to us. Number one, Ben Chong and Tony, when you decided on this one man. Simple word, quality. Yeah? Yeah. And he, got, he, he, he gave it to you all. This guy gave it. He's the only one that gave it on the night. Yeah? Give it to me. Ephraim. Oh! oh! This man! Yeah! yeah give it yeah, up! Yeah. Yeah. This must feel great. It feels I mean, amazing. The, the listeners of Metro agree with our judges. Yeah, so both the judges and the public, thank you so much, guys. My word, you must be feeling great. I do, eh? And it, I think it's because I've got my lucky jacket on. I wore this jacket on Saturday night as well. Let's not find out more about the Amstel winner. Let's find out. We took our cameras, went to his home, and this is what happened. Check it out. What's up, Mzanzi? I'm Ifran Gordon, and this is actually where I work. I'm a young actor in theater. I think he's really going to win class act. Guess what? I'm convincing. This is what was all the years Right now, the heat is on for our four guys. Malo, stand up. OK, let's see, let's see this guy. Get to know him a bit more. Check it out. I definitely think he can win this because he has the drive. He has the ambition. And if you feel like I do, there. Palace, stand up. Yeah. Looking good with the Mandela look. So how are you feeling right now? Nervous. He says it's from uh, Orlando East. Let's find out. Yeah, Eita, Eita, my dream boss. See, this is it. This is my trip, man. This is where it all begun. This is my <laughs> friend. I love him very much. And he has been. When I in there, I just ham, but crooked way. Zas gunzi magugu visa guma odishi nimbula zineta slash era patinga zela wuti azi. We'll make it. Vux. Yes, sir. Start out in. Tutu, tutu. Morwene Makaya. I'm bringing you guys my mom. Vux. I am your leading man. I'll bring it to you. I can be romantic as well and serious. Action, all of it. Take your position. Come this side. Come this side. Abdul, this is Young Guys at home, watch out. Who is the Sosha? I think he's going to win this competition. It's in Buffalo. It's called Boys Corner. Spongeng, two guys who are safe and two guys who are not so safe. And uh, one of them is going to be going home tonight. First of all, we have to announce the two that are safe. Palance and Vux, you're safe. <laughs> and this is my, my worst part of the show, where we have to announce one of the guys that's going home. Um, yeah. Malo. Talk to me. It was a hell of a ride. It was a hell of a ride. Um, well, sure. What can I say? Um, I've, I've learned a lot. Just want to thank my, my family at home that supported me all through this. My mom, my dad, Mugs, Maureen, Hilton, Geraldo, my family in Montiki. Ah, shoot. Thank you guys, judges, for, for not believing in me because that that drive me to 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 that that yeah, i've done my best so thank you everybody that supported me um yeah it was yeah it was a hell of a ride please give it up okay now this is what happens when you do not vote you've got to vote your favorite to keep them here join us on saturday when the girls get to the hot seat bye bye <laughs>